But let's talk now about using screens, because you really rarely see a player, a young player, that's any good at this. I'm going to give you six habits, six things that you want to make a habit every time somebody comes to set a screen for you. And again, we're talking about off the ball screens, not ball screens. The first habit when you recognize that somebody's coming to screen for you is to move opposite. Move opposite. As soon as, you, that, as soon as you see that screen coming, you want to move in the exact opposite direction of the way you're going to come off that screen. This is just another example of cleverness. Some coaches call this, you've got to make sure you set your man up. Well, I think it's easier to remember the whole concept of moving opposite. So the screen comes, you move opposite. That's the first habit. Second habit is wait. You got to wait. The number one reason that players don't get open when they come off screens is they lead too early. So the second habit is to wait. The third habit is to wait longer. Wait longer. Wait till you just can't stand it anymore, and then wait a little bit longer. The fourth habit is when you do come off that screen, come off shoulder to hip, meaning your shoulder on that screener's hip. Because if you don't make any contact when you come off of a screen, come back up here, my two demonstrators. Let's say this time that I'm on defense, and let's say Jessica's going to come screen me, so I'm going to guard Ann this time. And let's say, Jessica, you're not smart enough to know about the whole double wide screen yet. All you know how to do is set a regular screen. So here comes the regular screen. She sets the screen on me. Now, if she, if she sets me up, even if Ann moves opposite and waits and waits, and she doesn't make any contact, don't make any contact when you come off the screen. Even a mediocre defender is going to be able to squeeze through here and stay on her. If she goes shoulder to shoulder, you can just stay right there. Because a lot of coaches will teach to, take, to go shoulder to shoulder, so move, move opposite, set me up. If she tries to go shoulder to shoulder, a good defensive player is just going to push their way through there. But if she goes shoulder to hip, so this time I literally want you to take your shoulder and put it on her hip, so move me opposite. If she goes shoulder to hip, well, now it's tough even for a good defender to get through there. First of all, she's got a head start on me. And second of all, she was a lot harder to push when she got that low than she was when she was standing straight up. And some players, let me be you for just a second, some players will take this even a step further. Like, you used to see Reggie Miller do things like he'd set his man up, and he would come off the screen, and he'd take it a step beyond shoulder to hip. Sometimes you'd see him take his whole arm wrap it around his teammate, push his way through, and there was no chance. Even a very good defender could squeeze through there. Thanks, guys. So when you come off, I want you to literally take that shoulder, get low, initiate contact, and come off shoulder to hip. And then the fifth habit, and ironically, this is the step that most young players try to skip right to, but this fifth habit is going to do you no good until you master the first four. But the fifth habit is after you come off shoulder to hip, you want to look over your shoulder and read the defense. Read the defense. Go where the defense isn't. If the defense is trailing you, you want to curl. If they try to go over the top, you want to flare away. But if you try to skip right to that step, well, it doesn't matter what you read. A good defender is going to be able to stay with you. And then the sixth habit, and you, this is one that most point guards aren't good at. When you catch that pass, when you come off that screen and catch that pass, don't catch it like just a catcher. Catch it in attack mode. Catch it like a scorer. In other words, when you catch this thing, peek at that rim, get down in your triple threat, and peek at the rim, catch it in attack mode. Most point guards, most average players, when they come off a screen and catch a pass, they just catch it like a catcher. They put it over their head, look for somebody to throw to. That's not very special. You could go to any YMCA and just grab some guy off the court that's never even played organized basketball, and he can come off a screen and catch a pass. That's not very special. Good players, when they come off of a screen, they catch it in attack mode. They're a threat to score. People have to play them. Doesn't mean you got to shoot it. Doesn't mean you got to drive. It just means you got to be a threat to that defense so that they have to play you. So we're going to work on all six of those habits today.